Good afternoon. Guten Tag. Äh, ich freue mich sehr, heute präsentieren zu können. Ich habe diese beiden Sätze auf Deutsch gelernt, nur um Ihre Aufmerksamkeit zu erregen. My name is Mateusz Reczko and I am very pleased that today I have the pleasure of sharing with you advantages of using Saginomia components with natural refrigerants. Before we inevitably jump into the future, which definitely using natural refrigerant is, I would like to take a look into the history to introduce us. Saginomiya is a Japanese company founded in 1940 as a research institute with a purpose of developing and perfecting the technology to manufacture high-quality pressure bellows. Uh, we became a joint stock company in 1948, but we are still managed and fully owned by the founding family. Our head office is located in uh, in Shinjuku, uh, district of Tokyo. During these over 80 years of our history, uh, Saginomiya has grown domestically, building three factories in Japan uh, and also expanded globally with sales offices in USA, two sales offices, a sales office in Thailand and in Europe and in China as well. Uh, and also, we uh, have factories in, in China and in Thailand with a joint stock company in Poland. In Saginomia, we are constantly trying to combine stable stability of quality, uh, stable quality of our current solutions and new developments to ensure the safe future of our planet as well as a future growth for our customers and us. Now a little word about our technical history. Although we originated from the air conditioning uh, market, delivering to main Japanese manufacturers, our components have already been successfully applied in heat pump units by our long air conditioning customers who ventured into the field as well as new customers from outside of Japan, including Europe, of course. Here we continue gathering the experience from uh, air conditioning sector, and this experience has allowed us to transition smoothly to the heat pump sector, where we uh, are constantly expanding the knowledge of uh, how to improve our portfolio. Even though the topic of heat pumps is not as pleasant as it was uh, two years ago due to the market situation, uh, I would like to acknowledge that the heat pumps is the crucial direction towards which Saginomiya has been looking for many years now. I would like to begin the presentation with our offer for flammable uh, natural refrigerants. The components that this section uh, will be about include electronic expansion valves, pressure sensors, pressure switches, and four-way reversing valves. Because we do not have enough time to analyze every aspect of our design, I would like to focus on, on what we deem crucial for our customers, as well as what differentiates us from our competitors. Without further ado, let's jump into what's important. When considering an electronic expansion valve in the design of your unit, one of the most influential aspects is how the valve will behave in extreme conditions. For example, in cold outside conditions, when a high temperature water is needed, the pressure in the electronic expansion valve can grow substantially. Our electronic expansion valve UKVS and UKVSH can reach the level of MOPT up to 35 bars, allowing stable hot water supply regardless of the temperature outside. Additionally, if you would like to accurately control the temperature of said hot water, the flow should have a 
higher resolution when the valve is barely opened. But the temperature doesn't reach minus 20 degrees Celsius everywhere. Maybe your market allows to consider 5 degrees Celsius as a minimum outside temperature and you require precise control in the middle ranges here. Aiming for the highest uh, capacity and the highest uh, efficiency in standard conditions. Or maybe you would like the curve to be linear in order to not overcomplicate the control and be able to calculate the flow easily. Like here. Or maybe you wouldn't like the valve to close at all and uh, remaining it open at all times. With our highly customizable flow characteristic, points that you can adjust, you can see here, we can fulfill all the technical requirements, those that I have mentioned and also others beyond. In case of our NSK pressure sensors that are based on a piezoelectric chip that directly translates the changes in pressure to the output signal now, the accuracy is the parameter that I would like to look at first. In high temperatures of the refrigerant, it improves the upper limit of condensing temperature by providing a stable and reliable signal to the controller, and in a lower end, this means just a more precise control of the unit. But again, which temperature is high and which temperature is low? Again, it depends on who you ask. Therefore, in Saginomia, we didn't only focus on a high accuracy that reaches a 1% full scale, but also on allowing the calibration of set accuracy in specific temperature ranges, particularly those ranges that are important for the market that you aim at. Another very important thing, in our opinion, is the local production, as the recent world events have taught us. Local supply means reliability. In Saginomia, we aim for stable deliveries to our customers, and therefore we are, we are establishing a new production place of our NSK pressure switches in Poland. This also means that our current and soon-to-be customers are going to enjoy a shorter lead time from next year. Speaking about local sourcing, we are already providing our ACB pressure switches this way. Here, we aim for the highest customizability. The construction of ACB pressure switches with a diaphragm used to open and close the micro switch based on the pressure at inlet allows us to modify the pressure setting individually per customer's request. We also made a great effort to be sure that we, often, uh, that we offer a wide range of pressure connections with also a wide range of electrical connections that our customers can freely choose from. I am also happy to introduce a new high durability, half a million cycles capable ACBH type pressure switch that uh, application is aimed at a small at smaller machines that use pressure switch to control the compressor for example like ice machines moving on to saginomia four-way valves stf unsurprisingly we aimed for the customizability again this time in a different in a bit different way than expected we wanted to make our STFs as design friendly as possible. Therefore, we developed various types of sliders. Mounting our STF upside down, choosing a uh, variable or fixed speed compressor, among other things, became possible. Thus, allowing the complete design freedom with the components type and arrangement. 
also we are constantly revising our design on how to improve them. Using a recent example, we've realized that through a clever approach, we are able to lower the PED STF uh, standard for STF four-way valves, which we did and successfully implemented. Hence, making the application of our STF four-way valves in our customer systems easier. We now finish the topic of flammable refrigerants. Let's now move to the one that everybody listening to this conversation, to this presentation, participates in the production of. I'm talking, of course, about carbon dioxide. Saginomia introduced controls for CO2 in early 2000s. These components were featured in EcoCute hot water heat pumps. Uh, this project that uh, started uh, in Japan in late 90s uh, was established to fight the problem of high energy consumption for domestic hot water heating. EcoCute are basically quite simple uh, heat pumps when it comes to their theoretical design. However, a big challenge came with the fact that these units were transcritical with uh, a high demand for quality components that can withstand very high pressures. Saginomia has, of course, rose up to the challenge by introducing components with maximum allowed pressure levels up to 150 bar. Thanks to the performance of these products, their use expanded beyond the EcoQ, with applications in other CO2 appliances like centri laboratory centrifuges, climate cham chambers, and of course, condensing units. The lineup consists now of electronic expansion valves, pressure sensors, pressure switches, solenoid valves, and a second type of pressure switch. In Saginomia, we are constantly working on new developments, and this resulted in a project revision for a high accuracy narrow differential pressure switch, this CKB here, uh, that we are revising the pressure range in order to uh, include a complete pressure selection for our customers. But let's start from the beginning. The group that I would like to open with are the electronic expansion valves. All of our UKV and UKVJ Electronic expansion valves are based on unipolar stepper motor principle. There are no additional gears or any other complications in the construction of these valves. They are in fact very similar uh, to our electronic expansion valves for flammable refrigerant UKVS and UKVSH series. Along a quick response time, compact design and high MOPD, a smaller one, UKVJ, shares one more very important feature, a highly customizable flow characteristic. Thanks to that, our JKV have wide range of application and our UKVJ even wider. Speaking about wide range of application, it's now time to introduce our HPV solenoid valves. They can be implemented in hot gas bypass circuit for defrosting, as well as in oil control circuit. They offer wide range of flow rates paired with a compact design and are capable of withstanding the pressure of up to 150 bar. We have also designed a special series solenoid valve, HPVE, that can act as a electronic expansion valve based on the principle of pulse width modulation. For this application, for such application, when the valve is going to be opened very frequently, a high durability with low noise when operating are necessary. Adding low internal leakage and normally closed design to prior mentioned features, our HPVE can act on their own in the system without backup power supply, 
or a solenoid valve behind it. Now it's time to take a closer look onto our HSK pressure sensors. Because the pressure in CO2 units can rise to uh, quite large values, a sensor has to be robust and precise. Remembering it's still a pressure sensor, it has to have a compact and lightweight construction. Our one-chip design and meticulous manufacturing allow these exact attributes. Additionally, this one chip is able to perform an output in a voltage as well as in a current. Finishing on HSK versatility, it is completed with various electrical connectors and two types of pressure connections that our customers can freely choose from without a restraint. Continuing the trend of versatility, I would like to introduce Saginamia pressure switches. First, let's talk about CCB pressure switches series. They are diaphragm based, where the pressure change initiates the movement of said diaphragm that actuates the micro switch inside. This switch can control a direct cutout as well as a purpose signal. In order to match customer requirements, we are offering highly customizable pressure settings along with multiple electrical connections to choose from. Also, for the convenience of our current and future clients, we have acquired IEC 60730-2-6 for specific models with a whole range to be certified in March of 2025. As you know, in case, of, in case in the pressure switch is controlling the compressor, the wider differential, the longer it takes for the compressor to restart. The longer the breaks in the compressor work, the harder it takes to maintain the temperature in the system. When you would like to combat this exact problem, hence require a really narrow pressure differential, it's time to shine for our CKB pressure switch. Pairing a narrow differential with, highly, with high accuracy of the pressure setting, our CKB maintains a hard durability and is manufactured locally in Poland. We have only 30 seconds left. This is where the presentation concludes. I hope you found it helpful, interesting, or you were at least I'm used. In case you have any questions or would like to get any more information about our company or components, either those that I've mentioned or any other Saginomia components, I would like to invite you to visit us here at Chilventa in Hall 7A at booth 530 and talk to me uh, or any other of my colleagues and take available materials. In case we don't get the chance to talk during the show, feel free to use the contact details that you can see here right now. Gosecho itadaki arigato gozaimasu, which is loosely translated to thank you very much for listening and please enjoy the rest of Chilventa. <laughs>